Ever pondered a classic film from Making 45 that's filled with humor, surprises, and heartwarming moments? This movie follows the story of twin brothers, one a performer, and the other a scholar. When tragedy strikes, the surviving brother embarks on a journey of mistaken identity, romance, and comedic chaos. The film is packed with interesting stories that add depth to the characters and plot. Have you ever wondered which role viewers love the most? The diverse characters offer something for everyone to enjoy. Share your favorite memories or experiences related to the film in the comments below. Get ready for an unforgettable cinematic journey filled with laughter and surprises. And remember, there's much more to discover about this movie, so keep watching. In 1945, a groundbreaking film was released, leaving a lasting impression on popular culture. It enchanted audiences with its mix of humor, music, and fantasy, setting a new standard for movie magic. Through its creative use of technology, especially in special effects, it reshapes cinematic storytelling. This movie didn't just entertain on the screen. It sparked a wave of spin-offs and adaptations across various media. Radio shows, comic books, and stage productions all sprang forth, capitalizing on the character's popularity. Fans eagerly snapped up merchandise from toys to clothes, diving deeper into the fantastical world it created. Decades later, new generations continue to find and love this classic gem. Its influence echoes in later works of entertainment, pushing creators to explore new boundaries. Despite the years past, it remains a cherished favorite, warmly remembered by those touched by its magic. In the final movie featuring Margie Stewart, Danny Kaye shows off an early form of beatboxing while singing Achai Tichornia at the Pelican Club, even though he's dealing with allergies. At the club, with its lively atmosphere, he blends rhythm and melody together smoothly, impressing the audience with his new style. Best Flowers, who acted in the movie, praised directors Frank Capra, Joseph L. Mankiewicz, and Gregory LaCava for their special ideas that added depth and richness to movies. She talked about how their guidance helped actors like Danny Kaye push limits and change how they express themselves on screen. In its 1945 release, the movie marked the debut of Deanny Best and Susan Scott. The script cleverly weaves in references to notable personalities of the time, dropping names like Hedy Lamarr, Lana Turner, Sinatra, and Einstein. As Wonder Man unfolds, viewers witness Deanny Best's first appearance on the screen, making a notable entry into the world of cinema. Simultaneously, Susan Scott steps into the limelight, showcasing her talents for the first time. The film script is peppered with nods to contemporary celebrities. Hedy Lamarr, Lana Turner, Sinatra, and Einstein are seamlessly integrated into the narrative, adding a touch of realism and connecting the fictional world with the recognizable figures of the era. In this cinematic creation, Deanny Best and Susan Scott shine in their inaugural performances, while the script cleverly incorporates familiar names, drawing the audience into a world that reflects the glamour and resonance of 1940s culture. In the 1945 movie Wonder Man, viewers witnessed the film debut of Vera Ellen. Buster and Edwin Dingle, portrayed by Danny Kaye, were monosigotic twins. A radio adaptation of the movie aired on March 25, 1946, featuring Danny Kaye and Virginia Mayo reprising their roles. The Lux Radio Theater broadcasted a 60-minute version of the film. In the movie, Wonder Man Steve Cochran made his film debut. Assistant art director McClure Capps, who happened to be producer Samuel Goldwyn's son-in-law, contributed to the production. Notably, Goldwyn's marital history was quite intricate, involving bitter separations and a public facade. Co-stars Danny Kaye and Vera Ellen reunited in their subsequent film, The Kid from Brooklyn, before teaming up again in White Christmas a few years later. Their on-screen chemistry was evident across various projects, including the mentioned films. On the set of The Pelican Club, art director Ernst Fegte faced a last-minute challenge. Originally, sculptor Tony Duquette crafted statues for the scene, but producer Samuel Goldwyn disapproved upon seeing the finished pieces. Fictay's solution selling Duquette's sculptures to MGM and substituting them with giant vases, a spontaneous artistic choice. The ethereal moment of Buzzy's spirit emerging from the water in Prospect Park was achieved through a simple yet effective technique. A superimposed shot of an electric floor fan projected onto the screen created the symbolic imagery. During the Bali musical number, a subtle nod to the Chamber Music Society of Lower Basin Street was woven into the script. The reference to bringing in people from Lower Basin Street aimed to enhance the music, paying homage to the popular American radio program of the 1940s and early 50s specializing in blues, barrel house, and boogie-woogie music. 
These behind the scenes insights add layers to the 1945 film, showcasing the creative problem solving and cultural nods that enriched Wonder Man's production. In a story about famous actors and actresses, we learn about the son of Virginia Gilmore named Yul Rock Brenner. He talks about his parents' difficult relationship in a book called Yul, The Man Who Would Be King. Even though he was a top choice, Danny Kaye didn't get the main part in The Music Man, which went to Robert Preston instead. Loretta Day said goodbye to acting after her last movie, Wonder Man. This movie marked the end of her long and successful career. It was a big deal for both the movie industry and her fans. Wonder Man showed off her talent and hard work and was loved by people all over the world. In one standout moment of the 1945 movie, a lively sequence known as the Bali Boogie features music and lyrics attributed to Sylvia Fine, the wife of the film's lead, Danny Kaye. The musical composition incorporates parts of dance Arab from Tchaikovsky's ballet, The Nutcracker. Another noteworthy piece, the Ochai Tichornia number, also penned by Sylvia Fine, draws inspiration from an old Russian folk song of the same name. During the filming of Wonder Man, director Humberstone observed a love scene between Danny Kaye and Virginia Mayo. Noticing Kaye's perceived overacting and the absence of the right mood, the director decided to have a one-on-one -on -one session with Kaye. Instructing his assistant, he humorously quipped, just give me the ham and hold the mayo, emphasizing the need for a more restrained performance. A somber note in the backdrop of the film involves S.C. Sekal, a cast member whose close relatives tragically perished in Nazi concentration camps. This heart-wrenching loss included his three sisters, niece and his wife's brother and sister. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the making of Wonder Man offer a multifaceted perspective on the creative process and personal challenges faced by the cast and crew. Now, as we delve deeper into the movie's narrative, these anecdotes provide a richer understanding of the film's context. In the 1945 movie Wonder Man, actress Carol Haney made her debut. Edward Brophy, known for his roles in The Champ, The Thin Man and Naughty Marietta, was also part of the cast. Steve Cochran, after catching producer Samuel Goldwyn's eye during a play tour, landed his first movie role in Wonder Man alongside Danny Kaye. He would later appear in two more Kaye films. The movie marked significant career milestones for these actors, adding to the charm of this classic film. In Wonder Man, released in 1945, viewers witnessed the film debut of Kathy O'Donnell, albeit uncredited, in a small role as a nightclub extra. The movie marked the beginning of O'Donnell's career in the film industry, setting the stage for her future roles in various cinematic endeavors. O'Donnell's appearance, though brief, hinted at her potential as an actress and foreshadowed her future contributions to the world of film. In an unexpected twist, a sad incident occurred during the making of a popular comedy movie from 1945. The unfortunate event involved the loss of actress Virginia O'Brien's husband. It cast a shadow over the filming process, making the atmosphere on set more somber. The movie itself tells the story of twin brothers, one of whom is a performer in a nightclub. Unfortunately, he meets a tragic end because of some gangsters. However, his spirit somehow ends up in the body of his more reserved brother. This leads to a series of funny and heartwarming adventures. Directed by H. Bruce Humberstone, the movie features impressive special effects for its time. Particularly notable are the scenes where the main character interacts with his ghostly twin. The film also has a memorable musical score, including the popular song It's a Great Big World. The movie showcases the main actor's comedic talent and physicality, establishing him as a prominent figure in Hollywood. Despite the sad event during its production, the movie became a box office success, further solidifying the actor's status in the entertainment industry. In conclusion, despite the tragedy, the 1945 comedy movie remains a beloved classic, highlighting the actor's comedic brilliance in a memorable dual role. In a twist of fate that left a somber mark, the film from 1945 saw the tragic passing of one of its actors shortly after completing his scenes. Despite the comedic essence of his character, his death reminds us of the fragility of life in the world of entertainment. The storyline revolves around two brothers, with one meeting a tragic end, setting off a chain of events that unfold in a mix of drama and comedy. Crafted by a team of writers, the script blends mystery, romance, and humor seamlessly, keeping audiences hooked with its engaging tale and memorable performances. At the heart of the movie is a talented actor in a dual role, showcasing his skills as both a comedian and a singer. His portrayal of twins one shy and bookish, the other charismatic and lively highlights his versatility and charm on screen. Supported by a strong cast, the characters come to life with infectious energy and impeccable timing. 
Directed with finesse, the film features groundbreaking special effects for its time, including scenes where the actors' characters interact seamlessly with each other on screen. The musical sequences, choreographed with flair, add to the charm and entertainment value, making it a beloved classic of its era. Despite facing hurdles during production, including changes in direction and delays, the film emerged as a commercial success, bringing joy to audiences with its humor and heartwarming story. Its lasting impact continues to touch viewers, reminding us of the power of laughter and the bonds of family. In an unexpected turn of events, tragedy struck during the making of the film when an accident claimed the life of actor Donald O'Connor's brother on set. This heartbreaking incident cast a shadow over the production, leaving everyone involved in mourning. Despite this sorrowful setback, the movie persevered and was completed. Directed by H. Bruce Humberstone, the 1945 film tells the story of twin brothers, one a nightclub performer named Buzzy Bellew, and the other a scholarly type named Edwin Dingle. When Buzzy witnesses a crime orchestrated by mobsters, he finds himself in danger. However, a twist of fate allows Edwin to bring his brother's spirit back to help solve the mystery. The film is remembered for its pioneering use of special effects, especially in scenes where Buzzy's ghost interacts with the living world. This innovative approach fascinated audiences at the time and set a new standard for storytelling in movies. Throughout the movie, viewers enjoy a mix of comedy, mystery, and romance with standout performances from the talented cast. From Donald O'Connor's lively antics to Danny Kaye's witty charm, the film offers an engaging viewing experience. As the plot unfolds, audiences are drawn into an exciting adventure filled with surprises, leading to a satisfying ending that leaves a lasting impact. The film's creativity and ingenuity solidify its place in cinematic history.